No, it's not emulation. Um, it's a Neo Geo AES. It's outputting SCART into an upscaler, the RetroTINK 2X, 2X SCART. Um, and then I'm just using a cheap uh, capture card that I bought off Amazon a couple years ago. It's, uh, it's real hardware. I also have a RetroTINK 5X, but um, I'm connecting this to a VGA monitor. Um, it's like an old computer monitor. Uh, and I like the way that the 2X looks more than the 5X on this one. But yeah, the 5X is really, really amazing. Sometimes I'll connect it on, I'll connect my Neo Geo on um, the bigger screen that I have in my living room um, with the 5X and it looks really really good um, but I found this I found this really cheap um, VGA CRT like old computer computer monitor it's a Samsung I found it for like I think it was like $15 and I was really excited um, because I hadn't played on CRT in a really, really long time. And when I got it up and running with the 5X, it looked good, but I like, I don't know why, I like the way it looks more with the 2X. So this is, this is a, like the more permanent setup that I have. Um, yeah, but the 5X is really, really great. I don't know if you followed Mike Chi, who's the guy that invented, or the guy that does all of these RetroTINK products. He's now working on a 4K upscaler, which is really exciting. Um, but yeah, amazing work. Definitely worth the money. Yeah, I saw a couple of them on eBay and they were like really, really crazy prices. Um, it is, it, it's really insane to see like, I saw, I saw like a Sony VAIO monitor on eBay not too long ago for like a thousand dollars or something like that. It's insane. Um, or like even old televisions, like around my area, like a really old, really beat up CRT is like $70, $80, $200, $300. 
two hundred dollars. Like it's crazy. I found this one on like online. There was a guy in another state that was clearing out an office, and he had a couple of these. And I messaged him, and yeah, I think it was like fifteen dollars, like shipping included. And yeah, it's in really, really good condition. It has a couple of scuffs, but I really like the way that that the games look on this. Um, using the 2x upscaler. Oh my god, I'm terrible at this game. I'm sorry. I just started playing it like two days ago, so. I'm still trying to figure it out. Yeah, he's been. Mike Chi has. If you have Twitter, you can follow him. Mike Chi has been sharing like a lot of photos of like his testing and development on the RetroTink 4K and it just, it really looks insane. Yeah, I saw the HDR update. I haven't updated mine yet. I don't have a Windows computer. So I'm gonna wait a bit until so I could get someone to come over and let me borrow their computer to do the update. But yeah, I saw that the HDR thing was like two weeks ago, right? I don't have Discord, so I'll just I just follow him on Twitter. Well, thanks for stopping by. It was really, really nice to hear from you again, and uh, you'll probably see me streaming uh, around more often. I uh, hope you have a good night. <laughs>